me Someday I would buy Galleys with good oars And sails to distant shores Stand up high in the crowd The mob was fed lies. They were provoked by the president and other powerful people. The attack on our capital was one of the darkest days in U.S. history. Everyone agrees the people responsible for five deaths, including a police officer, should be held accountable. Senate Republicans, you swore an oath. Now it's time to do your duty. Take back your party. Heal America. Convict Trump. Hello, and welcome to the People's Third Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update as of February 14th, 2021. Before I start off with, I want to say Happy Valentine's Day to all my viewers and subscribers. Hope you guys have a magnificent one. There isn't really much to talk about on the stimulus front today, except for a study was done that says that the $1,400 stimulus checks would help out 20 million Americans pay their bills for at least a few months. Just a few months. But we know that Trump was acquitted by a vote of 57 to 43, and they needed 67 votes to convict him. Uh, his trial was the quickest one in history, basically. I mean, as you probably found out, that Trump's defense team basically started their case and ended their case in exactly three hours, which was supposed to be the quickest that an impeachment process for defense has ever happened. Trump says attackers on the Capitol were Antifa, even though we all know that they were not because they were donning on Trump gear and Trump flags and stuff like that. There was also reports that former Vice President Pence was being targeted and Trump refused to do anything about it, which is basically the truth because Trump considered uh, Pence a traitor and that's why he had his cronies target him. Um, let's see how this is in place. Okay, but even though he's already got acquitted, that doesn't mean he's out of the woods for the legal actions because now New York, as well as Georgia, can go after him for what he did. Because you remember he had that phone call to the Georgia State Secretary um, asking him to look for 11,700 and some odd votes to make put him over the top. So Georgia's going to go after him for electoral fraud as well as, I'm sure, other things. I'm not exactly sure what um, New York's going to be going after him for. Probably the same thing. Although, we do know that most companies that were backing Trump are no longer backing Trump. Especially after this uh, insurrection. We have another Democrat senator opposed to the $15 an hour minimum wage increase. This is very concerning because they need every Democrat senator to vote yes to make this pass. Democrat Senator Kirsten Cinema says the wage will not she will not support the fifteen dollar hour wage because it does not directly affect the pandemic. A group called the Morning Consultant said that the fourteen dollar an hour stimulus checks would be the most effective if sent out by March first. That don't seem to be what's going to happen because basically this whole stimulus bill is getting scrutinized by the House. And they said that uh, they most likely not going to vote on it and pass it until the end of this month. Which most likely means that the stimulus bill will not pass until sometime in mid-March at best. I mean, they said we have Joe Manchin and now we have uh, Kirsten Cinema, both saying that they do not support the $15 an hour minimum wage increase. Joe Manchin says that he $11 an hour minimum wage increase will be sufficient. And we'll, we'll actually see what's going to go on with that because, like I said, right now we're having the Democrats fighting over the minimum wage thing. We think that they're not going to. They can do the Reconciliation Act, which means that no Republicans are going to be voting on it. And if they do, that'd be nice. But as we've seen so from, far from the past, that the Republicans don't care about the people. They care about their pocketbooks. This has actually been a proven fact. If we, if we watched over from every act that's been pa tried to be passed since the CARES Act, I mean, for instance, the HEROES Act, 
it was supposed it was, it was told by Mitch McConnell that it was dead upon arrival because it was a three point three trillion dollar spending budget and he did not and he thought it was a Democrat's wish list, especially with how much money was in there for state and local government funding. And on this, on that note, the current state and local government funding is at three hundred fifty billion dollars. And how Biden has it set up is is the states that have the highest unemployment rate will get the most. But unfortunately, some of the governors and other state officials are disagreeing with that approach, saying that that will not help stimulate our economy to make it better. I do not know whether this is true or not, but if it is, then you know. It is. If it isn't, then there's going to be a lot of money left over that can go back into the budget to help it get better. But until next time, you guys have a wonderful Sunday. Have an excellent day. And I will broadcast again to you guys tomorrow or Tuesday when more relevant stimulus information comes available. Until then, you guys have a wonderful day.